Good evening, Mission Control. I wanted to take a moment and talk to you about an experiment that we need to put on. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to water the microgreen trays uh, using kind of a flood and drain system similar to aquaponics, uh, only we're going to do it in its own tray. And we're planning ahead to when we get the actual microgreen shelves that will be right about this level. And we'll actually have the microgreens up off the rock and sitting on this shelf. And we have two challenges with respect to watering. First, when you first plant seeds on top of the soil, and you kind of put a little bit of soil on top of some of them, but not all of them, the seeds can dry out. So you really kind of need something that keeps the seeds moist, which screams top-down watering to me. And that means we might have to have a, a moving horizontal spray bar system that goes across and just kind of gives a good mist to these things. I, I like the moving bar thing because I don't have to have so many sprinkler heads all over the place, which all those heads would create a bunch of moisture and humidity and stuff like that. So I kind of prefer not to have to do all of that if I can get away with it. Uh, but then moving bars require you to have motors and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I digress. So there's a challenge there. You also have the second problem, which is you have to constantly come out and water them. Uh, we're currently doing it twice a day. And that means we can't go anywhere unless we have it automated, which is what we're currently trying. So I have here uh, an experiment set up. Let me show you that. Currently what this is, is it's microgreen tray sitting, put some light in there for you. There we go. Sitting on a, a clear tray, which is filled with water. And then this pipe coming in right here is coming off of the flood and drain system for aquaponics just temporarily and I can control that with a valve. So right now it's off and we just filled it up and inside of there, there are radish microgreens and you can see how wet that cocoa core is. Pretty darn wet. That might be too wet. So the good news is that it looks like this experiment is probably going to work. And then the challenge is getting the right quantity of water in there so that you're not molding out all the seeds. So I'm actually gonna dump some of this water out here. Check our water level. You can see the water level is right there, so that's pretty high. Let's dump some more out. There we go. Now the water level is right down at the bottom of the tray. You can see a little, you probably hard to see the contrast on the camera, but it's a little, little less watery on top there. So I have high hopes for this experiment. Now let me, let me go show you, I want to show you another tray, how we do it normally here. So these are the trays, I just got done watering them. And this tray here, you can see kind of how dry it is. See, the, so maybe see a little bit of color difference there. This one's darker uh, than this one. This one's drier, this one's wetter. I just, um, just got done spraying it. So these were planted at the exact same time as that one uh, today. And that one has stayed nice and wet using that system. And I haven't had to come water it at all. So I have obviously had to figure out, I just, you watch me dump all the water out, but these ones I have to come and I have to take the tops off while they're germinating and uh, spray them and then put the tops back on because they like it nice and dark. Now we're also testing with uh, stacking germination trays. So far the tests look really good. We're just not confident enough yet in our abilities uh, to replace our current production line with that particular process, but it is looking really good and that's probably what we're gonna end up doing. So again, just to kind of visualize, right about here, somewhere in here, is going to be the, the germination shelf and then the microgreen shelf right above it. And the germination shelf is going to have about six inches between it and the bottom of the shelf above it. And that's where we can stack multiple uh, seed trays at in order to germinate them. So um, we, we want to move to the stacking method, which is what I just talked about. And then we also want to come up with a better way to water so that it's more automated and we can actually go places and not have to be stuck here all the time. Um, so I really like this flood uh, system. It takes you know one extra tray. They don't have to be clear. This one was just so I can see it. 
uh, but it looks like it really will keep the seeds wet, especially with the cocoa pour, which really sucks up the water uh, from the bottom. So now it's, it might be enough even just to put water in this once and then uh, be done with it. We, we may not have to put any more water in at all. Now, that opens up some things for us. We can actually use aquaponic water in the bottom of these trays and be totally okay because the aquaponics water won't touch the edible part of the plants. So that's awesome, which means we get a lot more nutrients into the uh, microgreen trays, which means a better product, a lot healthier, it's gonna be more tasty. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm really excited about this experiment. I, I have high hopes in it, I think it'll work. We're doing radish right now. I'll, I'll need to set up some more trays and do peas, uh, which are a staple production uh, crop for us, as well as kale. I think we're actually gonna move kale into production in the next coming week or so. Um, so I need to test those out using this method as well. It'll take about uh, a week or two before we actually see the results from this test and we can compare them side by side with the ones that we're watering every day, twice a day, with this one that's just sitting here with the water in it. So I'm excited. Hopefully it works out. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for this video. Nice, short, sweet, to the point. Uh, just an experiment. We'll see how it goes. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian. Out.